Pictorial representation of data. Warm-up time. What do you see in the picture? Some group of butterflies. Learning time. Some basic ideas of pictorial representation or pictograph. Often related types of symbols or pictures are used to represent a specific number of objects. For example, a symbol may represent one or ten or hundred or thousand or any other number of related objects. The symbol picture used is very simple, clear and self-explanatory. The quantity that each symbol represents is indicated clearly in the representation. That is, the scale is mentioned clearly. Examples of objects whose pictures or symbols are used are different kinds of animals like birds, insects, men, women, boys, girls, fruits like mangoes, grapes, oranges, apples, trees, cars, scooters, bicycles, plants, etc. The symbol or pictures may be colored. Such colors should be used which are very common like red, blue, green, yellow, etc. Only the pictures of common fruits are used such as banana, apples, guava, orange, grapes, mangoes, etc. Sometimes the names of the month of a year or the days of a week need to be mentioned. The names of the months and days may be written vertically and in front of each row we may write the roll numbers of the students according to their birthday and birth month. This way we may show the number of students who are born in the month or day concerned. Sometimes data on yearly production such as the yearly production of wheat or rice in a state, of steel in a factory, etc., may have to be represented. Thus, we must be acquainted with the numbers used to describe the years 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, etc. So, pictures of different objects are used as a symbol to give information regarding mathematical data. Presenting data in the form of simple pictures or diagrams is called pictorial representation of data. Here are some examples of forming pictograph with the help of collected data. In a school, the number of students class-wise are as given below. Make a pictograph to represent the above data. Scale. One student represents 10 students. Two columns, one for class and the other for number of students, are made. For the number of students, the column is wide. There are five rows for the classes, one to five. A scale is fixed. One face is taken to represent 10 students. So, for 70 students of class 1, 7 faces are made. For class 2, also, 7 faces are made for 70 students. For 60 students of class 3, there are 6 faces. For 50 students of class 4, five faces and for 40 students of class 5 there are four faces. A bookseller sold 60 books on Monday, on Tuesday 50 books, on Wednesday 80 books, on Thursday 40 books, on Friday 40 books and on Saturday 70 books. Draw a pictograph for the books sold during the week. Solution. One book represents 10 books. 
For six days, six rows are made. In front of Monday, there are six books. In front of Tuesday, five books. In front of Wednesday, eight books. In front of Thursday and Friday, four books in each row. And in front of Saturday, there are seven books. Thus, the pictograph is formed. In the following table, there is given the number of women who use cosmetics in a city in different years. Represent the above data by pictograph. Solution Pictograph of numerical data of women using cosmetics. One woman is equal to thousand women. A fruit seller sold the following number of different fruits as given below. Form a pictograph with the help of the given data. Solution One fruit represents 10 fruits. Apple, banana, guava, pineapple. The above examples on pictograph to represent the collected data. Activity Read the pictograph given below and answer the questions. Oranges Apples, pears, strawberries, pomegranates. How many oranges are there? Which kind of fruits is maximum in number? What kind of fruits is minimum in number? What is the total number of fruits? In the given pictograph, different modes of transportation a number of students of a school traveling by those are shown. See the pictograph and answer the following questions. One shape of a student represents 10 students. Bus, car, cycle, on foot. What are the different modes of traveling? Which mode carries the maximum number of students? How many students? come on foot. How many students are there in the school in all? What is the difference in the numbers of students coming by bus and car? Thinking skills. Pictographs are the easy way of representing data in the form of images. They show trends in the data clearly. Fun time. Pick the odd one out. Here is a pictograph showing the number of different animals in a zoo. Giraffe, zebra, tiger, wolf, bear. How many animals are there in the zoo? How many types of animals are there in the zoo? What kinds of animals are maximum in number? What type of animals are minimum in number? What is the difference between the maximum and minimum numbers? How many times are wolves more than bears? What part of the number of wolves are the bears? What is the sum of zebras and bears? What is the sum of wolves and tigers? Maths Lab Activity Represent the numerical data by using picture symbols. The table represents the number of flowers a nursery produces.